Why everything, why everything is closed? It's kind of lame. Turnips. Oh, pouch. I'll take it. Small queer of arrows. Okay. How many? Or did I just automatically? Uh, okay. Or is it must be the inn? What's the name? The mole retain. Okay. Marte is talking to us. Another stra straggler runs uh, into the inn with muddy boots. Relax, Marta. This is the, the first one said the rest will be here soon. They're our guests. They have come from a long way. Please show them some understanding. You clean up after them. You must be Marvin, right? Your brother is waiting for you in the room upstairs. He has been injured by a blood fly and must rest. Where are the rest of your companions? We split up, they are just heading towards the village. Okay, I'll go out to meet them so they can get here without a problem. Here is something to warm warm to eat. I would advise you to rest as well. You look tired, frozen and sore. Alright. Do you get visitors here often? The last few days have been less frequent than usual. Occasionally we'll see a vineyard workers, lumberjacks and diggers, and the townspeople drink at their own places. Okay. Do you have anything to drink? Do you have anything to pay for it? Not exactly. Here, have a seat. Your first beer is on me, and more you'll have to pay for it. Alright. So how's busy, how's is your business going? Not only are the taxes going up day by day, half the crops rotted by these floods, but the farmers keep talking about something. Hard times are coming. Okay. So what do you have? You have food, apples. I think apples are useful if they provide a strength bonus at, at least. Some uh, cooking recipes. Map of Arcolos Island. Alright. This is the kitchen. Eggs for Bastian. I wonder what happens if I... Let's say pick this up. Bastian, how am I supposed to make a scrambled eggs for our guests? If you keep forgetting to buy fresh scavenger eggs. Either get a dozen of those eggs right away, or you can forget about serving your speciality. 
serving our speciality. Okay, I guess this is this a recipe, right? Or not? No, it's a quest. Marta wants Bastian to get a dozen scavenger eggs. If I have some, some on me, the innkeeper will certainly want to buy them from me at a good price. Okay. Earring? So I can sell him the scavenger eggs, apparently. Here, this is for you. Okay, I have one. Alrighty. So, uh, stand another level up. Until I begin to explore the wonderful art of cooking, all the ingredients I encountered, I encountered seemed completely unnecessary. I was unknowingly missing a great opportunity to try many wonderful dishes. You won't cook anything tasty without the right recipe. You can usually find them written down on paper. Buy all the ones you can find and read them right away. Unlike complicated alchemy, cooking requires no, no extra training. You will need the right place, a pan over the fire, a skewer, a big pot or a home stove. Everything will do. You can even cook several batches at once to save a lot of time. Some recipes may call for a bit more of experience, expensive ingredients, such as wine gear, salt of cinnamon. Fear not, such trace amounts are used for a single dish that they will easily last you for many months. Okay. Not only will prepared meals allow you to recover much faster than eating individual ingredients, but enjoying a variety of dishes will improve your overall health. Moreover, ingredients like apples and raspberries don't lose their additional properties even after preparation. Now that you know everything, you can get down to cooking with confidence. So this basically says us that you can uh, uh, prepare some like stat boosting meals, I think, and you don't have to like stack apples or something like that. Jorn, I was worried about you. Not really. Take it easy, little brother. It's not like it's not that easy to get rid of an old sweat like me. This little bastard took took me by surprise. The most aggressive was this strange grey individual. On long drum I have never seen one like it. You don't have to worry, it's just a little stink. I'll rest a bit and everything will be fine. Better tell me how the rest of you go to the village in one piece. Uh we split up. Me and Rupert went ahead to clear the way and the rest are expected to reach the village soon. That's a good to hear. I was afraid uh, you guys wouldn't make it on your own. I even considered coming back to you. But then these blood flies ran into me and I knew I need something for my wound. Not so bad at least you were able to get inside without too much something. Did you manage to find our uncle? I talked to Victor about it. He said Kurt lives near the inn. Apparently he went fishing recently and should be back in the village soon. We'll visit him when we're both had some rest. Get some sleep, Marvin. Starting tomorrow we begin a new life on this island. Alright. Picking locks is not uh, an option.
All right, let's sleep. What the? What's going on? Forgive me for waking you so early, but the rest of your companions have just arrived in the village. They told the sentries the whole story. It was a, a bit of a stretch, but they were eventually allowed inside. So where are they now? They should be on their way to the inn. Looks like I'll have to prepare extra beds for and part of will have to cook more stew. Alright, so what about Kurt? Unfortunately, no. Looks like you have to check with in him in with him yourself. Where exactly does he live? When you leave the inn, you should turn left towards Sir Ramsey's mansion and then left again before you reach the hill on which the building stands. There you will find several huts tightly packed next to each other. Kurt lives in the largest of them, right by the river. Have you been to Have you been to see Jorn? How is he today? Marta has given him a, a herbal infusion and regularly applies compressors to the wounds, but he is still very weak. Looks like you can do without the help of a barbarous surgeon or alchemist. If I were you, I'll talk to you, your uncle. From what I remember, he's got along well with the local alchemists. If you need anything, you can find me here at the inn. Alright. I don't remember if I talked to him before. So what can you tell me about the village? What happens if I commit a crime, by the way? Fines for breaking the law in our village are dealt by, with by Albin. He is a representative of the law by the grace of the Sir Ramsey. Fines must also be paid in the village for any crime committed in the surrounding vineyards, farms or fishing settlements. This arrangement suits everyone. Roderick has less work to do. In town, Ramsey gets a share of every fine. Okay. Won't we get you into trouble? Even if, don't worry about it. I don't think I'll face the pillory. Besides, I have the support of Bastian and Marta. Nobody going to mess with them. Okay. How are you doing? Not everyone looks upon you with a favorable eye, but you are safe here at the inn. You can rest easy. Okay. Sander, who is that? What are you doing here? Give me a break, I'm busy. Okay. Thief, you got the urge to steal, huh? Hands off my stew. Okay. Sorry, I thought you made it for us. In case you haven't noticed, there is a whole horde of you, and each of you gets an equal share. Alright. How are you doing? I just think people on Arculos will be so hostile. Every once in a while, someone holds a grudge against me. <laughs> no wonder. How's life? You're finally safe. Rick. I don't know you. Leave me alone. All right. Hi Marvin, we are finally safe. How are you feeling today? I'm definitely better now, but I don't feel up to getting up yet. You'll have to look for Kurt yourself. 
his head was behind the inn. Alright. Have you come to annoy me? If that's the case, don't bother. I'm trying to convince these villagers to start feeding us better. <laughs> Alright, good luck with that. Alright, not all of our people made it to the village. What? Who is missing? It looks like Maven and Daryl stayed in the cave. I should have thought of that earlier. Not only now did I realize that they are... If something happened to them... I don't know about you, but I am ready to come back for them. Yeah, let's look for them together then. I like your attitude. But before we go, we need to find something for Daryl. What do you mean? He's badly injured, we may not be able to move him. If he could get some healing potion, it might make things a lot easier. If, it, if you take care of the potion, I'll try to get something we can better defend ourselves with. Okay. Let's first find our uncle, I suppose. Meatbag. Another heavy branch. Of course, red. Valuable inside. Here, go. All right. Bed. Another bed. What are you snooping around for? Get away from my hut! What? You're probably looking for something to steal and sell for booze, huh? I know people like you. Don't you recognize me? Because I do you. I'm Marvin, Jorn's brother, your nephew. Oh shit. Let the Mollerat fondle you, Marvin. How's the old man holding up? That's a subject for a long conversation. Then we'll talk about it some other time. And Jorn, he must have outgrown Gert by now. We arrived to the island together, but he stayed at the inn with Victor. He's not feeling too well. What about him? He was stung by a blood fly on his way to Silbak. That's why I was looking for you. Not good, those bastards can get under the skin of evil.